Hello everyone, my name is Vix and welcome to a Modern Warfare 3 commentary, but before we start I just want to say two things, uh, first of all this gameplay, um, it was a hard game and I decided that, you know what, I'm going to upload this hard game, I started off really really shit, like you'll just see me die over and over again, but it was a good game, I, I led the lobby in the end, I was quite proud of the amount of kills I had as well because it was a team defender game, and since it was so fast paced I thought I'd show you, just watch till the end because it is amazing how fast paced it gets, and I'm just spamming everything, throwing concussions everywhere, and the C4, and uh, yeah, it was a pretty good game. So, the second thing I want to say is that I've been messing around with the quality settings of the video. So, if you like this quality, just be sure to leave a comment say if the quality was good, if it was bad, uh, what could I do to improve, was it was it too dark? Because I kind of like it, it looks pretty good in the preview mode um, as I'm watching this, as I'm recording this commentary. So, just leave a comment and... Uh, tell me. So today uh, I want to tell you this high school story. So when I first started high school, um, which is in the UK, we would call it year seven. So if any of you guys are from, I don't know, Afghanistan or wherever you're watching from, if um, you if you go to high school, uh, our first year of high school was year seven. Now how it works in the UK is you would start from primary school, then it would move on to high school, then it would move on to college, and then it will move on to university. Those are the four different, uh, I guess, levels, and I'm, I'm going to go to university in next year, not this year, but the year after this, and then I'll tell you guys how that is as well. So, basically, high school, high school was terrible. It wasn't really terrible. I had some good memories, but the first year was terrible because I started late. Like, um, you know, uh, when you go to high school, there's like this first initial period where everyone gets to know each other, and that was the first week of high school. You know, in the first week, no one does shit all, especially when you first start. So, basically, what happened was I missed the first week because I, I was wasn't there, I was on holiday, so I came back, right, and I didn't know anyone, like, this school had none of my friends from primary school because we decided to move, and uh, I, I didn't know anyone, you know, I was looking forward to a new school and everything, so I, was, I went there, and uh, I did not know anyone, and since I wasn't there for the introduction period, I was picked on, I was bullied, and uh, this one guy, it was just like one person who would bully and everyone would just take part in it, because everyone else was a dickhead as well, but this one guy, his, 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 I'm going to name him Tusk, but it was, I'm not going to say his real name, because hey, he turned out to be a pretty good guy five years later down the road. But uh, Tusk was once... Just Tusk was a son of a bitch, right? And he he would bully me non-stop. Like, it wasn't serious bullying, but he would call me names. He would call my mum names. Even though he never met her, he would call her my family names. He would uh, just, just take the mickey and stuff. And uh, it was annoying, right? Uh, let me get that straight. It was incredibly annoying. Now watch this, right? This is epic. I sound hoard that guy who took his predator out. I didn't see him when I was running down, but I sound hoard him. I was like, hey, is that in that a predator thingy? And I just turned around and I killed him. So I was pretty proud of that. But yep. Yeah. So this guy was taking the mickey and he was incredibly annoying. So one day, right, one day I was just incredibly pissed off because I had this killer headache and my mom said you have to go to school and don't mess around because she knew, I, I, I did I did kind of tell her about the problem, I was saying mom I was kind of getting bullied and stuff, she's like don't mess around, don't have a fight, I, I don't want it to go on your record and stuff because my mom, you know, she, she's my mom, she, she wants me to look good and everything, stand out, whatever, you know how moms are, they want the kid to be the perfect kid and uh, I was like okay fine I won't have a fight or anything but one day I had this killer headache and I was like, Mom, I don't want to go to school. And since I was ordered like a week late, she said, no, you have to. And I was like, fine. I went to school with this killer banging headache. Like, you wake up one morning, and you're like, I can't do it. And I still went to school with that headache. And I'm not joking. It was it was a terrible, terrible headache. Like, I was really quiet that day. I didn't do shit all. I just put my head down, did my work. And then drama. Drama was a lesson where you had to queue outside of the lecture hall. And the lecture hall was basically... Um, a hall where it had like a baby about 800 seats, I'm not even sure, I think I'm over exaggerating, but it had about 400 seats let's say, and uh, basically a year, a class, a class, not a class, a year would uh, be seated there. And uh, what happened was there was like a stage area and the teachers would give their lecture, their presentation, you know, because I think it was every Friday we used to have this lecture thing and uh, they would just tell us about, I don't know, news and stuff, don't do this, don't do that, school rules, anything, you know, just school related, I don't know what you call it, assembly, that's it, that's, what, that's the word I'm looking for, we would have an assembly, and uh, the teachers would go on about everything, but in drama, we would use that lecture hall to do drama, and uh, what happened was, Tusk, I was going to say the real guy's name, but Tusk, that annoying son of a bitch, decided to pick on me, and for, for some godforsaken reason, we were in the same drama class, and uh, he decided to, you know, have a go at me, so first of all, he started calling my mum's name, so I saw your mum last night, she, she was really nice in bed, and you know, I ignored him again, and then he started calling me more names, and you know what, I just, I just ignored him, I think this pissed him off, because usually I would give him some kind of response, I would, you know, give him some kind of snide comment back, but since I did just ignored him, and I just, you know, I had that killer headache again, I just, you know, putting my head down. 
he pushed me, right? He just full on pushed me. He's like, why aren't you talking back? And he just pushed me. And I was like, oh my god, this son of a bitch just pushed me. And that push really hurt because what happened was I, I got pushed onto the stairs and basically my back hit the corner of a stair of a stair thing and uh, it was incredibly painful so you know what I was like that's it I don't care anymore and this Tusk guy he was a skinny white kid I'm not being racist but he this is the general just skinny skinny as fuck right he was he was a stick and I, I swear to god I could have taken him any day but today was the day that I was incredibly pissed off I got up took the bag off like in style and the, since the <laughs> I imagined it like it is right and um, the bag was like falling down in slow motion and I just beat the living daylights out of the Tusk guy, right? I, I swear to god it was so much fun. The fight, in every high school fight, every school fight only lasts for like 5 seconds, right? And I beat the living daylights out of that guy in 5 seconds. I remember I had this fight and then I was just told to stand in the corner and then I got taken to the one room that you should never be taken to in that high school. Now in our high school we had this room called the isolation room, okay? So once, we, <laughs> once you went into that isolation room it, it, it was the worst feeling ever because first of all you got in trouble okay and then you got to get to see the head teacher the deputy head teacher and then no, <laughs> the, the worst part of the thing is I don't even care about seeing the teachers or anything but the high school had this cucumber smell in the in the isolation room and I swear to god it was horrible it was torture beyond anything imaginable I swear to god you would go in that room and you would just want to go out like have you seen the hospital smell like when you go into a hospital it smells like casts and cucumbers and dried fruit or whatever you know the worst possible smell and that room had it in had it just like tenfold just imagine it like ten times stronger and you were like please just punish me don't let me stay in this room and the teachers knew the room stank so what they would do is they would put the, the kids who needed to be punished in the room and uh, they would just go outside and w let you smell that thing and for some reason that smell you would not get used to it it would stay there forever and it was annoying so anyway I hope you enjoyed the commentary guys that was uh, the little me tusk fight hide. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you everyone for watching. My name is Vix and I hope to see you all soon in the next video. Peace.